the winner, Get Group. <laughs> Excitement galore as your toil is crowned. They are a team of six young innovators. The Global Engineering Technology Group team from John Wesley Methodist Basic School. They have the passion to address societal challenges using their science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM knowledge. Their project, an anti-sleep device for motorists, is targeted at dealing with the increase in road accidents in Ghana. This is how the anti-sleep device for motorists work. The eye blink sensor coordinates the eye. After the eye blink sensor has detected that the driver is sleeping, it sends a signal through the processor for the buzzer to beep. As the buzzer continues to beep and the driver regains consciousness, he or she can continue with his journey. But if he fails to regain consciousness, the headlight and the brake light gives an indication that there is danger for other motorists who are behind not to collide with each other. Again, the speed of the car then reduces and the car engine stops automatically. It then sends an SMS to an emergency contact for the rescue of the driver. Team lead Mary Menu is excited of their victory. From day one, we have sweat, we didn't sleep. We made sure that everyone will be safe and we want everyone to be safe. No loved one should be separated anymore through road accidents. On behalf of President Akufuado, Chief of Staff Madame Frema Opari highlighted some challenges plaguing Ghana's education system. Ghana's education sector still requires some significant transformation to compete with the best in the world. For example, we must increase our gross tertiary enrollment ratio from the current 18.84% to 40% by 2030. Education Minister Dr. Yao Osei Educhum congratulated Dream Oval for augmenting government effort in making STEM education fun for junior high school pupils. He, however, urged the organizers to scale up the project to cover the entire country. Bringing students from Greater Accra, Easton, and Ashanti. And I appeal to the sponsors of this program to scale this to the rest of the country. Because we have talent everywhere in Ghana. The organizers appealed to Corporate Ghana for financial support to extend the GSTEP program to every pupil. Winners of the 2024 edition of GSTEP Challenge Get Group were awarded 70,000 Ghana cities worth of STEM equipment for their school and a citation from sponsors and organizers. Aqua Century were first runners up and Light Bearers emerged second. Shola Adeyemi's report for Joy Prime. Well, the fun you're seeing on your screens did not end there. Welcome back on the show. This is still the AM show with me, Sweetie Aboshi. Now, the second run, the first runners up of the G Step um, Awards that was held yesterday have joined me in the studio to talk about what they did, the experience, and I saw you dancing. Welcome to the show. I would like you to introduce yourselves, starting from the lady. I'm Obia Stephanie, just the finalist from Kwai Bibrim, the Great Impact School Complex, Kedea Bem to be precise. Fantastic. You speak so well. And you are? Also, also you. Yeah? From the same school? Yes. How did you even hear about G-Step in the first place? Our teacher introduced it to us that they have brought a program like a gen step relating to STEM education. Mm. But as far as we're not knowing how to deal with the STEM equipment, and they brought, they say the gen step people are those who will, pro, who will be producing the, all these things for us. Okay, so what did you do? I saw that you were the 
you came second in the competition. It means that you created something, a prototype that solves real life problems using science, technology, and engineering. Can you tell me about your project? What did you do? We create a smart solar security street light, mm. which is powered by photovoltaic panels mounted on lighting structure. It also contains a rechargeable battery, CCTV cameras. LED light and other improved components which provide safety and a sense of security. It also has an upgrade component like the traffic light, direction board and SP detector, which all these things are powered by the solar panels. That's what you can see on your screens. And correction there, you are second runners up, so it means you came third place. How did you know, now let your turn to talk, how do you know that you were um, technologically savvy or you were good at exploring and creating stuff before we get into your activities in the competition? Our teacher taught us how to program and how to talk in public. Okay, so in the course of producing this prototype, was there roles shared among you or you both just worked on everything together? No, the role was shared among us. Okay, what did you do? I was in charge of electronics and customer relations. What does that even mean? <laughs> they like, maybe how, example, maybe I'm doing a home automation, mm -hmm. how to fix it, or, yes, that was how, and the customer relations, maybe how, how I interact with my customers. Mm. Yes. And what did you do? Programming and marketing. Program, it means you're good with computer software and, you know, all the computer stuff. So how does it feel to come third place in a competition where hundreds of students across the country, from Eastern Ashanti and Greater Accra, were drawn into uh, fierce battles to produce great prototypes to solve real-life problems? How does it feel to be part of the winners? It felt very good. Yeah? I think... Mm. What did you win? One... 25,000. How much? 25,000. What are you going to do with that money? <laughs> we need to buy some STEM equipment in order to create more, more prototype or more things to solve problems in our commu community or so, maybe in our country. Mm. Where is the prototype right now? Well, it's our place, our hotel, the Ak Aknak Hotel. Okay, and is it working? Is it something that you can actually use? Yes. Have you used it since you created it? Yes. What did you do with it? Or where did you try it out? In the so, conference, conference hall. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about what this device does. It, the LEDs give off light when mm -hmm. voltage is applied. Speak up a little. The LEDs, mm. it gives off light when voltage is applied. Okay. The camera videos and capture images on the street where the system has been mounted and sent it through the internet over Wi-Fi. So it's like a cam recorder with a traffic light. Yes. Okay. And Go on. It also contains an LDR, which is light-dependent resistor. This thing... It's dictated day and night, so when it's night or when there is a power outage, this system will turn on without anyone operating it. It's an automatic, so no one will be going to... For me, some of the streets like that I've seen, some, the, someone will be the one who is going to operate it or turn it on when there is power outage. But as for our own, by the use of light dependence resistor, it turns on and off automatically. There are a lot of young women, who are, young children, children who are watching you right now between the ages of 8 and 11 who think that science, mathematics, technology and engineering are so, you know, strange or not something they want to even explore. What can you tell them, having been in a competition like this and actually won or are part of the top winners? What would you say to young people watching you right now? I will encourage them to take STEM subjects very seriously. Why? Because 
at first, we were not in our school class, we don't even learn about STEM, only science. But when JSTEM brought these programs and we engage in STEM, we have seen that STEM education helped us very a lot. If not JSTEM, I've never, or I've not, I did not even thought that I was seeing the Minister of Education. But mm. with JSTEM, I've seen a lot of people. Why would you tell young people to take STEM seriously? I want you to have the chance to speak as well. Yeah. Because you must learn to know how to talk in public. Okay. Were you groomed? Were you coached? Did, um, did you have... I engaged um, your founder here two or three days ago, and she spoke about mentors who, you know, coach you and assist you, show yeah. you how to um, create these things and how to even present them. It means that there was a time that you had to present your ideas to a panel of people who will judge, you know, the things that you have created. How was that whole experience for you? And do you think that having those mentors was helpful in yes. you getting here? Tell me a little more about that. Our uh, mentors and our coach, maybe at first we did not know how to market things, but our, coach, our mentor, he teach, he let us see something mm. or a theme like a group of people marketing about their project. It was boys and girls. Mm. They create an ice cream and they were marketing about it, going to some place who maybe win it. And the girls, their own, they spent a lot of money inside, and the boys, as for the boys, they did not spend much money inside since they want to get theirs fast, but it was not tasty, so they did not get a lot of customers. But the girls won the boys, so our project, it's, it's much expensive to have it. So when we were spending a lot of money, and she said, he told us that maybe. We will want it by as for the video or the film we see it. Yes, so we will want by maybe investing more money in it. Do you think that you're now um, speaking better than you were before you joined uh, GSTEP? Yes. Because you, you, you speak very well. You're able to communicate your ideas very well. At first, mm. the first day we came for the induction and they shared the maybe the our coaches for us they were asking questions and some of us were even shaking we were not knowing how to talk in public but as for now there is good we take it yes. what about you hl it's good what's what's the one thing that you think you've benefited from um g step aside the twenty five thousand ghana cds that you have won it has exposed me to the use of stem equipment like what like which one? Like the use of laptops for programs. Right. Well, thank you so much. These are the uh, second runners up from the GSEP Championship uh, and awards that was held yesterday by Kind Ketsi of GSEP. Now, GSEP is Ghana Science, Technology, uh, you know, um, Engineering, and um, again, that is Ghana Science and Tech Explorer Challenge, yes. And these are the second runners up who've won 25,000 CDs from creating um, a traffic light, a cam, how do you call it? What's the name of your device? Smart Solar Security Street Light, in short, S4 Light. You go, girl. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, thank you so much for joining us. What are you going to do with the 25,000 CDs before we go? Oh, we used to buy STEM equipment. You keep saying STEM equipment, like what? Like maybe That's some of the stem, the things we used in maybe producing our prototype, like the laptops for yeah. programming and the yeah. other stuff. Yes. Well, congratulations! It feels it feels good to be a winner. Yeah, keep it up. Don't don't let it end here. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much. That'll be all for the AM show. My name is Sweetie Abochi. And in the course of the show today, we uh, did a news review with Dr. Michael Ayamga. Then we spoke to many correspondents across the country concerning tomorrow's NPP parliamentary primaries. And then now we have in the studio with us um, Light Bearers, who are the third, second runners up from the G-Step Challenge. Thank you so much. Um,